Handa na ba kayo sa mga tanawing nakamamangha at bago sa paningin? Huwag mag-alala dahil ang mga ito'y swak sa bulsa. Ang bonggang biyaheng pangarap. Pwede nang makamit. Hindi yan drawing. Kukulayan natin yan, Bieros. Um, nice experience. Uh, nice to see a lot of tourists in different colors also. Um, enjoy the experience. Mm, but will be nice with coffee. Nice with yeah. coffee. For 18 pesos, this is very affordable. Yeah. Sulit na sulit nga itong trip na ito. Saan ka pa? Pwede ka mong picture-picture, IG-worthy shots, at libre pa. Ang entrance. Hindi dito. Pero libre ang entrance. Libre ang experience. <laughs> Lahat ng yan, pupuntahan. Walang hindi titikman. At hindi kailangan bali-balik ta rin ang bulsa para lang maranasan. Bali. Ako nang bahala sa inyo, Beros. Dito sa Bali, Indonesia. Mula Nino Aquino International Airport, aabuti ng 4 hours ang flight papunta sa Ngurarai Airport sa Denpasar, Bali, Indonesia. Para simulan ang ating Bali adventure, lamnan muna natin ang ating mga chan. At ang ating unang lalantakan, ang pambato raw ng Bali pagdating sa mga espesyal na kosyon at salo-salo, ang kanilang very own version ng lechon, ang Babi Guling. Fresh from Bali International Airport, first location namin, lechon agad. Hindi mo na ako magko-comment dahil hindi ko pa natitikman yung version nila ng lechon baboy natin. Yung skin ng baboy guling ay parehong-pareho sa skin ng lechon baboy natin. Yung sauce na ginagamit nila, ibang-iba sa sauce na ginagamit natin, which is liver sauce. If there's one common denominator sa pagkain, generally, ng mga Balinese, ay ang kanilang pag, paglagay ng different spices and herbs. I think yun yung that will set them apart. Probably one notch above sa pagkain natin because of the numerous spices na sinasama nila sa pagkain nila. It's just a combination of spices and then they dig nila to a paste and then they, they mix it with so many types of food. One of which is babi guling. Meat is leaner kasi generally nga, Yung babi guling is suckling pig, which means it's a younger pig, which means it's leaner, lesser fat, more tender. Ang nagpapa-espesyal sa babi guling, ang tinitawag nilang bumbu o blended and fried spice paste. Subukan nga natin ang sausaw nilang ito na nuknukan daw na ang hang. <laughs> si Isu sa akin yan. <laughs> Kaya pala may buko juice. Okay, mas maanghang siya, definitely. But it adds a different level. And it's highly recommended. Napupuyok pa ako eh. Parang medyo... Medyo maalat lang siya eh. Pero kapag nilinglagyan mo na ito, parang... Yung coconut aftertaste na papacify niya yung... Na-equalize niya yung pagkaalat. Biglang darating yung anghang na mag-overshadow sa dalawa. Yun yung sensation na nalalasahan ko ngayon at nararamdaman. <laughs> Di tulad ng ibang parte ng Indonesia na marami ang mga kapatid nating Muslim, sikat sa Bali ang babi guling dahil ang predominant nilang relihiyon ay Hinduism. Laman at balat lang ba? May alakart sila. Sa mga naghahanap ng kanin with sabaw, complete set meal kayo yan. Matapos mabusog, diretsyo na sa adventure, The Balinese Way. Mahigit isang libong maunggoy. Pwede raw makabanding. Pero bago natin yan puntahan, alamin muna natin ano ang mga bawal na bawal gawin sa monkey sanctuary sa pamamagitan ng isang chubby monkey challenge. Game. 
Ah, ako naman. Bago ko pisa ang laban. Bulot muna kami ah, ng camera man naming si Ray na magiging teammate. Ah. Si Lemuel sir. Jones. At ang mauuna maglaro. Sige na, kami na to. Quick. Don't don't give monkey food. Don't sleep, don't play. Natutulog. Don't disturb the monkeys. Don't. Don't yell at the monkey. Oh, don't. Don't have a bad breath. Don't. Show your teeth. Ano <laughs> ginagawa mo, Ray? Pwede magpass, guys. Don't put your ID. <laughs> don't show wax and necklace to the monkey. Lemuel, sharaw yung monkey. You don't be scared. If I'm the monkey, don't panic. Don't panic. Ama na kayo. Lampasan nyo na ang don't bring plastics. <laughs> Tandaan mga biyeros na ang mga guidelines na ito ay para sa inyong safety. Karamihan kasi sa mga bowel na ito, nagiging trigger para magiging threatened ang mga unggoy. Hindi aggressive by nature ang mga unggoy, pero kung maramdaman daw nilang may banta sa kanila, natural lamang na tedepensahan nila ang kanilang sarili. Sa mahigit 12 hectares na sanctuary na ito sa Bali, malayang namumuhay ang mga Balinese long-tailed monkey. May dalawang templo sa loob ng sanctuary, ang Pura Dalem Agung Padang Tagal o Great Temple of Shiva at ang Pura Beji Padang Tagal o Holy Spring Temple. Dahil na rin sa mga templo at holy trees na nakapalibo dito, isa na rin itong Holy Sanctuary. So sabi ni Kuya, um, marami daw mga banyan trees katulad nito at mga malalaking puno near not only the cemeteries but also the temples kasi it's believed that um, itong puno nito ay accompanied by spirits. And that's why maraming tao pumupunta dito hindi lang as, you know, of course to see uh, what they built but also to pretty much uh, offer uh, appreciation because uh, they offer not just appreciation but also respect. Papunta pa lang tayo sa exciting part, Pieros. Pinipilahan dito sa sanctuary ang kanilang monkey selfie. Ay, gusto natin yan, Pieros. At nauna pa talaga si Ray sa monkey selfie. TYBN, di ba, bro? Ang galing naman ng beshi ko. Papatalo ba ako? Mas magaling ba mag-selfie ang unggoy kisa sa iba? For sub-300 pesos, I think that's one of the reasons why nakita natin this is such an international tourist spot dito sa Ubud, which is located in Central Bali. It's not just affordable, but you gotta say, lumalabas yung talent ng mga Indonesians, Indonesians through their you know sculptures, um, how they made the temples, how they made the cemeteries, how they made this, I guess, a very touristy place. So yes, two thumbs up. Definitely, probably, uh, you need to add this to your list if you are passing through um, the town of Ubud, which is in Central Bali. Isang bonggang pasabog naman ang susunod natin titikman. Not just one, Definitely not two, absolutely not just three, but more than five ulam in one platter. Nag-umpisa lang sa isang maliit na warung o kubo noong 1986 ang Cafe Wayan. Kape at black rice pudding lang ang kanilang binibenta para sa mga suking magsasaka noon. Ngayon, hindi lang mga lokal ang dumarayo sa kanila. Maging ang mga turista, hindi pinalalampas ang kanilang mga putahe. Okay, uh, ito yung tinatawag nilang Balinese platter. Sulit nga ba? Well, meron kang chicken satay. Meron kang parang chili shredded chicken. Meron kang parang um, fish wrapped in some banana leaves. Meron kang parang vegetable fritter. Ang torta. Meron kang yung shrimp. Oh my God. Yeah. Then, meron kang parang sita na may toge on the side. Mm. And of course, 
Huwag natin kalimutan yung kanilang pampalasa. Hindi pampalasa eh. Hmm. Mampasigla. Mampabuhay kung nakain mo. Which is yung kanilang very spicy side dish or sauce. Okay. Chicken satay. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, sure. I have to say, yung, ch- yung chicken satay nila, parang pork barbecue natin pero sa kanila manok. Pero yung lasa niya, alam mo yung hinahanap, hinahanap mo yung barbecued pork kasi there's a specific barbecued pork flavor that you get that you don't get from chicken. This one, it's funny because I don't know if it's the marination or how it's barbecued, but it's chicken but but has that really wonderful taste of pork. Hindi ko alam. Paano na ginawa yun? But... Alam mo, gugustuhin mo. Isa lang yung ulam mo or dalawa, tapos dalawang cups of rice or tatlong cups of rice. Feeling ko, mas sulit kapag isang cup of rice, meron ka pang chips. Meron ka pang tomato. Well, hindi naman siguro yan. Pero meron kang one, two, three, four, five, six. Six na ulam. Pero, makukumpleto ba ang kainan kung walang pang himagas? Dadar gulong! Ang tawag nila sa traditional dessert na rolled crepe o animoy manipis na pancake na pinalamanan ng coconut o palm sugar served with vanilla ice cream. Ito yung parang hindi ka pa tapos dito. Gusto mo pang tirahin to. Pabalik ka ulit sa medyo savory. Pero gusto mo nang matamis. Pabalik ka ulit sa savory. It's just an ongoing process. Which I like. Bisitahin naman natin ang ipinagmamalaking traditional Balinese village na isa raw sa pinakamalinis na village sa buong mundo. Dito, pwede mo masyal. Pero para mas ma-immerse ang sarili sa kanilang local culture, pwede rin daw tirhan ng ilang bahay sa village. Uh, in here, in the night... Actually, in the morning, it's still blan- Blanket is compulsory. My, blanket is compulsory. My hometown, mm-hmm. or maybe around 3 to 4 kilometers from here. Oh. Without blanket, we cannot sleep. Because it's too cold? Yes. Oh. No uh, aircon here. No aircon. Yeah, I mean, ngayon pa lang. Yeah. In the night, it's very, very cool here. It's very cold. Especially uh, June until September, mm-hmm. because the, the, the wind blows from Australia. Ah. So in Bali, not feel very hot also, even the city. But if October until May, Some... that one is a bit hot. Ah. Even rainy season. Okay, so we're in a good time. Yes. Oh, good month. All right. Two beds. Ang mga homestay sa Panglipuran Village, nakakalaga ng 375,000 rupiah o nasa 1,300 pesos para sa dalawang tao. Hmm, not bad. Kilala ang Bali sa Indonesia bilang Island of Gods dahil sa matibay nilang Hindu culture. Patunay dito ang mahigit 20,000 templo na makikita sa isla. Kaya hindi nawawala sa pagbisita ng bawat biyahero ang pagpunta sa mga templo. Isa na nga rin ang Holy Springs ng Tirta Ampul. May ilang Holy Springs ang templo na pinaniniwala ang nilikha ng Diyos na si Indra. Halos isang libong taon na ang nakaraan. Oh, this is the offering. So when people come to the temple mm-hmm. to do the praying, they start from here. Bilang pagbibigay respeto sa templo, kinakailangan magsuot ang sarong. Kasama na ito sa entrance fee na 50,000 rupiah, nasa 200 pesos. Subukan na natin ang kanilang natural spring. Isang Balinese purification ritual ang Melokat. Hindi lang mga local Balinese at Hindu worshippers ang naliligo dito. Bukas ang templo para sa mga turista ang gusto rin itong maranasan. Pinaniniwala ang nakapagbibigay ito ng magandang kalusugan at sigla. Mga turista pumupunta dito para maligo. Doon sa one of three uh, bathing pools. The other two kasi, they're not really for tourists. I think those are for special uh, occasions. But anyway, but the one for tourists, which I actually experienced, it's it's it, it's my first time to experience, you know, bathing in a pool that's public and it is probably connected to any religious thing. Yung sarong na gagamitin mo once you enter the dry one is totally different from the sarong that you have to wear 
if you're gonna immerse yourself in the bathing pool. And then you have pretty much like a, a different, I guess, different levels of fountains. Kung saan yung tubig ng gagaling sa taas, and you can actually drink and bathe yourself using it. And that's what people do apparently. So parang each level, that's what you need to do. Uh, apparently, you have to pray. Um, parang I guess a, a sign of gratitude, sign of you know just giving thanks. Um, I pray for the safety of my family. Um, I also tried the water, which was pretty yummy. Water is pretty cold, pretty. Uh, lang kasi ako naligo kanina umaga. Malang oras. Nagbubula ang tubig sa bubbling spring. Dito mismo nang galing ang pangalang Tirta Ampul o Bubbling Holy Water. Mahalaga rin ang naiyaambag ng tubig ng templo sa irrigation system ng Bali. But yeah, overall, hey, I guess, you know, if you wanna feel the, if you wanna immerse yourself in the Balinese way, this is definitely it. So, yeah. Huwag ka lang magdala ng shampoo pati conditioner. Ubud ng dami rin ang pwedeng puntahan sa Ubud sa Bali. Kagaya lang ng Ubud Market. May mahanap kaya tayong bura pero hindi tinipid sa lasa na delicacy ng Indonesia? How much? 5,000. 5,000. This is the 10,000. This is uh, 5,000? No, no, oh. this is this is 10,000. Oh, that's 10,000. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you have the black rice? Black rice. Right. You have... Yeah, so this is white rice. Gl glutinous rice? And, uh, sticky rice? Sticky rice, rice. Sticky rice. And? This is from the rice. This is also from the rice. Uh, yeah. And then you have... Coconut. Coconut. From cassava. Cassava. Right. Mm. Hey, <laughs> Parang kakaninan din natin. Nagradi lang sila ng uh, sticky black rice. Not glutinous rice. Actually, meron din silang cassava um, flour. Um, this one is... What we call lak lak from the rice. From the rice. Meron silang coconut shavings. So, ang tinatawag natin ay... Ang tawag doon? Niyog. Satu lagi, satu lagi. Niyog. Tapos nang drizzled with palm sugar syrup. So, yun yung pampatamis sila. Mm. Very similar naman yung lasa naman sa atin dahil we're talking about food and rice, we're talking about something sweet, we're talking about um, niyog. So, very familiar. 18 peso, yeah. 18 pesos, so you're around yeah. 20 pesos. You're yeah. correct. Yeah. For 18 pesos, this is very affordable. Speaking of affordable, travel packages sa Bali, Indonesia na abot kaya? Kasama namin sa biyahe sa Bali, Indonesia ang Travel Geeks. Aba, may freebies pa! Kung pasulitan lang din naman ang usapan, sino ba namang aayaw sa free entrance? IG-worthy photos? Check! Historical and cultural experience? Check! Lahat ng yan, libre! Right now, we are in Ubud Palace. This is a private area belong to royal family. So actually behind this wall, that the royal house. But do, do they still live there? No. Yes. Oh, yes. Still, 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 still They're still alive. 1640 ng itayo ang Ubud Royal Palace o Puri Saren Agu. Pero dahil sa lindol noong 1917, kinailangan itong ayusin muli noong 1928 para sa turismo. Bukod sa pagiging official residence ng Ubud Royal Family, isa itong historical landmark na nagsisimbing museum at center of Bali traditional arts. Sulit na sulit nga itong trip na ito. Saan ka pa? Pwede ka mong picture-picture, IG-worthy shots. Ah, parang gusto kong gumastos ah. Parang naggastos ah. Selling point ng Bali ay ang kanyang affordability. I guess not only that it's affordable, it's actually 
should I say this, convenient for Filipino passport holders dahil hindi nyo kailangan ng visa para lumipad sa Bali. So, if you want another destination that's out of the country, that's affordable, maybe Bali is your choice.